Well, hi there. Today is Sunday, the 1st of October, 2023, and I'm getting ready to pull out with the motorhome and head to Snowflower, which is a Thousand Trails Park, up kind of between Sacramento and Truckee. Um, so, going to do that today. Yesterday was my last day of rope rescue training here in Chico. Um, it went well. I learned a lot. Um, also learned a lot about myself that I'm... Uh, not in real great physical shape for repelling. Um, I mean, I can do it, but I think I put people at um, risk because they have to cover for me and that's not right. But I think that I could do well uh, doing uh, hull, hull crew, line attendant or edge attendant um, and uh, some other top side tasks. Uh, kind of learned that from the course. It was really good. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I spent the money. Um, I do wish that uh, there had been more instructors from a safety perspective. I think there were some times that, uh, um, you know, we'd have people do safety checks on ourselves and I'm not 100% sure that they knew what they were doing. Um, so that was a little, that was a little uneasy, but uh, just had to be super careful. I was, uh, I wasn't injured. Nobody else was injured. I did kind of twist my knee yesterday, but you know, that's, that could happen anytime. So, uh, at any rate, really glad I took the course. Um, glad I'm getting uh, uh, a certificate for completion on that. And now we're heading off to Snowflower. So that's where Remy and I are headed off to next. And I'll get some video once we're up there. Well, hi there. And today is Sunday, the 1st of October, 2023. And Remy and I are checked in here at the um, Snowflower Thousand Trails Park. And it's very pretty and mountain-esque up here. Um, wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get uh, a spot to where I could get Starlink, but I found that, so that's good. Also, Verizon works up here, so that's cool. And so um, I think we're I think we're going to be up okay up here for a week. Um, you know, next year I may come up for longer, but it's uh, you know it's it's hard um, to get in here. Um, and I'm towards the end of the season. Actually, they're closing this park on the they're closing down half the park on the 15th of October, and then they're closing the entire park um, at the end of October. So uh, got in here just before the end of the season. Looking forward to enjoying this and checking it out, and I will share some more video with you later. So, they have this lodge building here at uh, Snowflower, and they call it the Ski Lodge, but to the best of my knowledge, there's no skiing up here. Um, so, I'll be, because they closed the park at the end of October, but... Uh, as you can see, it's just a beautiful surrounding area around here. Uh, they also have a pool. And they have a uh, kids' play area. Um, we actually come across the kids' play area before the pool. The pool is just on the back side of the play area there. And here's the pool area. Um, the pool area is closed for the season. They haven't drained the pool yet, but I'm sure... Um, that's something they will get around to here in very short order because it's going to get cold tonight. So yeah, it's uh, a very pretty campground up here. I think it'll be fine for me to be up here and teleworking. I just, it's, it's going to be a challenge to get um, Starlink in certain areas. So I am... Uh, gonna just um, consider this my one teleworking trip I may come up here for other trips to get away from it all for a week this would be a great place to come as long as I don't need to have internet although they did say that uh, Verizon cell phones work up here and that seems to work so I could always do that in a pinch this section is referred to as the cliffs which I get. Um, I just am amazed at the way trees grow in rock formations like that. But uh, yeah, this is where a lot of the 
larger RVs park. There's also some pull through spots, I guess, down by the lake, but uh, I'm happy with our setup here. Well, today is Monday, the 2nd of October, 2023, and uh, Remy and I are out for our morning walk. And uh, it's uh, very nice and quiet here. I can hear Highway 80 out in the distance, but it's quite a ways off. Definitely not something that I could hear from inside the motorhome. And they got sports courts here. They said that uh, next spring they're going to start working on putting in uh, upgraded electrical to the sites. We'll see if that happens or not. There's a, another loop up there. An RVs. You can tell that the rain that came through the other day washed some dirt out. Actually, I think this is the end of the paved road here. But yeah, very, very pretty. Some very nice cabins here. All of them uh, less than 10 years old. Up here on Redwood Lane. Very pretty, very peaceful up here. Well, Remy and I walked up to uh, Snowflower Lake uh, from the campground and very pretty up here. I love my Remy. Oh, your tail is so cute. Ah, I love you, Remy. Is a good girl. Is a good girl. I think that's so funny. It's so adorable, though, Remy. So, Daddy, don't video me. You know it makes me nervous. I love you, Remy. Well, we're here at uh, Snowflower Lake. A different part of it. It's a little point here that. Uh, kind of juts out into the lake and then back over here well today is Wednesday the 4th of October 2023 and welcome to the woodpile um, this is a section of the uh, Thousand Trail Snowflower Park that uh, is where they take all the fallen trees and when they mulch the limbs and stuff, um, this is where they bring them to kind of get them out of the, the way of everybody. But I just thought it was cool to come back here and look at just the grandeur of all the trees back here. It's really cool. That's very pretty. Um, it's like 6.45. Um in the morning and just uh, just a great great place to come it is pretty high in altitude so the snow will fall and this place will close but I'm glad I got up here when I did so I have a friend of mine Kate that lives back on the East Coast and uh, she was sending me she didn't send to me but she did post pictures on Facebook of a pretty walk that she had this morning and I was out here walking Remy this afternoon and I stumbled across this bench that's just kind of out here surrounded by trees but it's a great place to come and just kind of relax and and not really worry about anything there is a road just on the other side of this but it's really funny you can be just really secluded here see Ram is that a squirrel go up there so Danny you should have let go of the leash I would have gotten it 
and then you would have hurt, and then you would have needed pain meds for the next week. <laughs> Just out for an afternoon walk with Remy, and uh, just enjoying the area out here. It's very cool. All the old granite and stuff. Well, I'm heading up to a Tahoe Sierra Vista Point. So we'll see what that's all about. It's actually part of the Thousand Trails Park here at Snowflower. We're now about a mile up the uh, road to the Tahoe Sierra Vista Point. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely glad I didn't walk this because uh, I would have turned around um, before getting to this. And it stayed a pretty much a 15 to 20 percent grade. This turn right here was about a 20 percent grade. Um, well, here we are at the Sierra Tahoe Vista Point. And uh, it was uh, 1.8 miles up to this Vista Point from the Thousand Trails Park. So this must be property owned by PG&E is the only thing I can think of. But it's very pretty. And uh, the trees look very healthy through here. So good morning. Today is Friday, the 6th of October, 2023 at the Snowflower RV Park by Thousand Trails. And uh, just up here at one of the upper loops, it's actually one of the loops closest to the actual lake, Snowflower Lake. And uh, just out walking Remy this morning and thought I'd walk up here and see what I could see. And there's quite a few RVs up here, but uh, a lot of empty spaces too, so. Um, I've really enjoyed the stay up here. Um, today's my last working day up here. Now that I know that uh, there are spots that I can get uh, Starlink from, um, you know, this is this is a good place to come. I think I will uh, maybe come up here again next fall, right after Labor Day, after things start to slow down a little bit, and spend some more time up here because it's really enjoyable. Well, hi there, and today is Friday, the 6th of October, 2023, and Remy and I are back up here at the uh, Tahoe Sierra Overlook, and uh, I'm actually going to pop the drone up and take a look around and see, uh, see what we can see from a slightly different perspective, because uh, while it's very pretty up here, um, kind of in kind of a plateau, and... Um, some areas got a lot of tree coverage, so you can't really see what's going on around. So thought I'd uh, take an opportunity to pop up the drone and have a look. So let's see what we see. Has anyone seen my balloon? It's green, you know? Picture there though, with all those 
Well, hopefully you like that little flight around, uh, checking out the area around Sierra Tahoe um, lookout here. So I am definitely going to be back at this park. This is a great place to come, and I look forward to coming back here in the springtime. So I'm up here at the Tahoe Sierra lookout. And what we're going to do is we're going to pan over from the lookout and zoom in. that little spot pretty much in the middle of the screen that is Snowflower Lake so uh, yeah pretty cool so tomorrow I'm gonna be walking dogs with Allie at the uh, Stockton City of Stockton Animal Shelter and then heading to Lake of the Springs up in Oregon House on Sunday. So that is pretty much the plan for the weekend. Uh, plan for the moment is to go back to the motorhome and work the rest of my day. And there's a Remy. This is bestest Remy. This is bestest dog. I love you baby girl. And I hear your tail wagon. Well, today is Saturday, the 9th, no, the 8th of October, 2023, and I'm getting ready to go volunteer at the uh, City of Stockton's Animal Shelter as a volunteer for Sacramento Shelter Pets Alive. Uh, Remy does not get to come with me, so she's being kind of clingy this morning, and that's always appreciated because she loves me, and I love her. And so I've got about a two hour drive to get to the shelter. Um, it's just kind of what I do. Um, I know some people down there, they're really good hearts that work hard to uh, save shelter dogs. And so I'm gonna go down, work with another volunteer who's driving from a bit of a distance um, to Stockton to uh, work with shelter dogs, get them out of the shelter for a little bit and then we'll get some video and I'll make some marketing videos for them. So that's the plan for today. So let's go for a ride. This is Daddy, I love you. I love you too, baby girl. Daddy will be back. So as you can see, two hours and five minutes, Please proceed to the highlighted route. And off we go. It's uh, 6.29 oh, in the morning. And uh, 
we're off to the uh, the animal shelter if my time goes well enough I will maybe stop for a hot chocolate on the way down but uh, the primary goal is to get to the shelter before 9 a.m. well I've arrived in Stockton um, it is 845 I did stop at Dutch Brothers for coffee so uh, that there's that and uh, just gonna pull up to the shelter here momentarily and it looks like Linda's here or Allie's here so at any rate at a, out at the uh, city of Stockton's animal shelter well I'm at the city of Stockton's animal shelter and I'm just uh, gonna hang out here for a few minutes until Allie arrives and then we'll go do some dog videos Once Allie and I connect, we usually get a list of the dogs that they want us to take out for a little while. And we go and locate the dog. Once the dog is located, one of us will go into the kennel to make friends with it, reassure it for a little bit, and then put a collar on it. In this case, we met up with Cody, who was eventually adopted. Nose work. We then walk it out to the car and try to let them know that it will be a fun experience. This is where we're going. Mm -hmm. He's like almost Francis. <laughs> Maybe when we, stop rolling, we then go for a short car ride to our filming location at the University of the Pacific in Stockton. As soon as we arrive, we treat the dog to some whipped cream, which usually lets them know that it'll be a good day. Oh, this is starting out okay. We then both try to spend a little time fuzzing on the dog. In this case, it was Bean, and reassuring them that they will be cared for. Then we both trade off spending some time with the dog and working through some obedience skills. We then find a few more locations to spend time with the dog and get some more video shots with them.
Then we load up into the car and return to the shelter after the dog has had a little time to decompress. It's amazing how just an hour and a half will do miracles for them. I'm out. Well, it is Saturday evening and we are here at Snowflower and uh, just finished a day of helping out at the shelter, getting some dogs out, walking and doing some dog video taking. So I'll be making some videos for them here shortly. And I uh, got it back and Remy wanted to go for a ride in the car. So we came out to the lake. Huh, came out to the lake for you, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby girl. And so just uh, coming out to uh, get a little time out here for her to unwind out in nature. And then we'll uh, retire for the night. There's my Remy. <laughs> I love you, baby girl. Many of the Thousand Trails campgrounds have ranger programs periodically throughout the month, which are always fun for the entire family. So uh, tomorrow we head off to Lake of the Springs for three weeks, and uh, so tomorrow will be a move day. I won't really have any video, but uh, I do know this is a park that I need to come back to because this is the bomb. Well, I'm up here at the Immigrant Grap Vista Point and uh, right off of the I-80 and I'm sure you can hear the traffic behind me. But in the spring of 1845, this is the location that saw the first covered wagons surmount the Sierra Nevada, making their way to San Francisco or what would become San Francisco. Good morning. I think you're a little too curious for your own good. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm just right outside the motorhome here. Very cool.